What's going on guys, here we're back with a new video and in today's one we're going to show you how to build uh, a base with the expansion mod. So first off, what you're going to need to do is craft a, a kit. This can either be a floor kit, a wall kit, to be able to make, you know, your base. So what you need to do is you need to have a piece of rope and you need to go and find a bush. So we're going to go take this bush uh, right here and we're going to cut down the bush. So once you get the bush, you get either a long stick or three short sticks. If you get a long stick, just cut, just split them into three uh, short sticks. And then once you have them, put either the rope or the stick into your hand. It doesn't matter which goes first and combine. And then you can craft either a fence kit, which a fence kit is the standard vanilla base building. You can either craft a floor kit, a stairs kit, a ramp kit, a wall kit, and that's it. That's the four you can uh, craft with a rope and a stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft a floor kit. So once you have your floor kit made, the first thing you got to do now, this is also in the expansion mod, but you need to grab yourself a flag kit. On this server anyway, you need a flag kit, which basically means you can claim your land and only you can build on it and only people that you invite to your land can also build on it. It means nobody else can take over your base and then build your base and, you know, keep it for themselves. So what you want to do here is grab your flag kit. They come in a different number of flags, but you can just get a basic one. And as far as I know, this is just a basic white flag. And what you'll want to do is choose a placement and just kind of place it anywhere in the vicinity where you think you're going to build your base. And then you want to hold down to uh, place the flag kit. This is then going to place down your flag kit here, as you can see. Literally a flag on a pole. And then what you want to do is to claim your territory, you want to go up to it, press F on it. And then you can pick from a number of flags here. They don't have many, they have a few. I'm just going to pick the expansion flag. And then what you want to do is create territory. You can name this anything, so I'm just going to name it uh, base building. Just to make it easy. And then you click create territory, and then it'll say here, are you sure you want to convert this flag to a territory? You cannot undo this change. And click OK. And there you go. You have claimed the territory. Now the area does seem pretty big. I'm not sure how big it actually is, but it is quite a big space, so you do have a lot of room to work with. And then if you wanted to invite your teammates or your friends to be able to build, help you build your base or if they wanted to build something on your territory, you go to B and then in territory you can click into here and over on the right hand side, if people are next to you, their names will come up here and then you'll be able to send them a little tick. You'll be able to tick them off and send them an invite and then they can accept by also hitting B and then accepting and then all your members you will see over here on the left hand side. So once you have that done, you have your flag done. Now it is time to start actually building. So we get your floor base out first, your floor kit. And I'm going to place my first floor kit. I'm actually going to do it over here, right about here. And then you want to hold left click to deploy it. And then this will give you your basic floor kit. Now, or what you need to be able to do to build your floor base is you need four lumber, you need 30 nails, and you need 10 planks of wood. Now, to get lumber, lumber is a new thing that came in also with the expansion mod. This is lumber here. You get them from planks or from logs that you cut down from trees. You use a hacksaw or a normal saw, and you can go through the options, and you'll be able to craft three meter lumber. Same way you would craft planks from a log. We have them here, so we're going to take some. They do come in stacks of 10, which is quite good because every floor and wall and everything uses the same amount of materials. So a floor uses uh, 10 planks, 30 nails, four lumber. A wall uses the exact same amount. A staircase uses the exact same amount. A ramp uses the exact same amount. So everything uses the exact same amount of materials, which is really, really good. So we're gonna grab plank and I have nails on me. We're going to go over and click attach. We can either attach or you can drag them in to the inventory of it either, whichever you prefer to do. So 
We're going to build a... Not, not too big of a base, but we're going to build... A two by... One or something like that. Because I also want to show you how the snapping feature works. And as well... Once you finish building your be your floor, it will give you the kit back, so you don't have to keep remaking kits, you can just use the same one over and over. So I want to place another one next to this, and if there was no snapping, this would be very hard to do, but there is, thankfully, so all I need to do is when I'm, and I want, know where I want to place my floor, I hit X, and then it gives me a snapping feature, and I can snap in either corner. I'm gonna snap one here, and we're gonna do kind of an L-shaped house. We snap this one and then we repeat the same process over again. So we take our planks, take our 30 nails, put them in, and then our lumber is still in our first floor's inventory, so we can just drag them out. And then we can attach them to the next floor. And then just repeat the same process over again. So we build our base. And then we can build our floor frame or we can build a hatch frame. I'm going to stick with a floor frame again. And then we can finish up building the wood floor. Now I'm going to repeat this once more uh, right here. There we have it. There is our floor layout so we're going with kind of an l design so it basically gives us enough room as well to land the little bird on top of the roof which we will get to i already pre-made had some pre-made uh kits from when i was building my base so i'm just going to use these for this one but you to create a wall kit and stuff as we've shown it's the exact same as everything else you just stick and rope and then you can select through the options and create whichever one you want to create so next we're going to go and do the wall i'm going to make this actually no i'm going to make this here the front door so i'm going to make the front door first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to obviously get my choose placement out so i can choose where the wall goes and then i press x again and it'll also snap everything as well around me so i can see where i want stuff to go but i want it here for now so i'm going to deploy this one And then that is uh, deployed. So I'm going to grab my lumber first, if I can. Yep, grab it there. And then I'm also going to just combine uh, these two together, just so they're not a mess everywhere. And then I want to put them in the wall base one. Now it tells you which one's which. So the floor base we've already done, it's empty. Uh, so we're onto the wall base now, and we do the same thing again. Lumber nails and planks it takes the exact same amount so it'll only use four lumber out of that so first off we build our base and then we have a couple of options so we have we can just build a full wooden wall uh, we can build a door in the wall we can build a gate which be used for like a garage so you could be able to back a car in and stuff like that and then we can build a window frame so here i'm going to build a door frame And then we build a frame and then I'm just going to build the wood door. There we go. That is the wood door door and it works perfectly as well. Open it, close it. Looks good as well. So that is uh, that done. And now here I'm going to build another wall. So I get my wall kit again. Press X to hit the snapping and it'll snap onto there, but again, it'll snap wherever we want it to, but I just want it to snap here. So here, I'm going to first grab my lumber and then I'm going to put it into the wall base here. And then I need to grab some planks, but I'm going to put in my nails as well. And then I can grab some planks. So then I put in my 10 nails and then we do the build a wood wall base and this one I think I'm going to have a window here so I can look out this way onto the main map around one of the little islands at the moment so build a window frame and 
down and then we're going to build the window and it gives us two small windows in it one there and one there looks like so we have it done there we go two little windows i'll give you a look at them from the outside as well get my wall kit from here and we're going to build another wall here this time i'm not going to build any windows in it i'm just going to build a straight wall so usual just grab my lumber build this wall as well so we build a base as usual then we also build our wood wall frame and it's just i'm building it just a plain wall here not doing anything fancy with this one build our wood wall And that is the full wood wall done. And that's what it looks like from the outside. So again, grabbing another wall kit. Pressing X. Puts it into snapping. I think I'm going to put a window here as well. And then that is our window frame done. I've built uh, another blank wall here. And here I'm going to actually build the gate door. So again, to build the gate door, it's exactly the same. Takes uh, four lumber, 10 planks, 30 nails, hatches. And we're gonna build the base. And then what we want to do is select the build wood gate frame. Then builds the frame, and then what you want to do is just click and finish off building the wood gate. There we have it. That builds you a wood gate so you can open them. So, and then you have plenty of room there to drive a car in. Okay, so next what I'm going to do before anything else is I'm going to start building the roof. So I'm going to build a roof here, and you might be thinking to yourself, how the hell are you going to get a roof on this thing? Well... Just put it above it and you hit X and it'll snap into place again. So you do the same as if you were creating a floor. You deploy your fence kit. Puts it up there. Then up here you are able to attach everything. Which is a lot easier than being able to then drag it into the inventory because you actually know which one it's going into then. As you can see it's this one here. And then we get our lumber. And you can build it down from down here. You don't have to be getting up high to uh, be building it. So I'm just going to build a standard floor here. And then in the next room over, we're going to build a hatched floor. Because we want to put in a staircase so we'll be able to get up to the roof. The helicopter. What we do here is we just put down our kit as usual. Put it down like so. Then I need to grab all of my... Actually, I'll grab my materials. Put my planks in put my nails in and then I come back grab my lumber and then I know where they actually are this one here grab that and then we're going to build this one so we have to build the floor base to build the floor base then it'll give you an option we can either build a floor frame which is just a standard floor or we can click next part and we can build a hatch frame so i'm going to go ahead and build hatch frame uh just so i can be able to grab some stuff so it'll say which one's the staircase as well so if we look down at it here this is the stair base here, so you can put your materials in there. So, thanks, your nails, and I need to grab some lumber again. Then I want to be able to put my lumber in there, and then we go craft. Now, you can't really see anything far, so you just kind of have to um, move your mouse around until you find... Oh, no, that's dismantling it. We're doing the wrong thing there. There, we have to build wood staircase. This is why I prefer using hammers, because you can't make the mistake of starting to dismantle something first stage and then we need to try and build the next one so a stair support next
Will the wood stay or tread? Very nice. And there we have it. And that gives you a stair straight up. And it snapped onto the hatch. Looks perfect. Seamless. And then you're up above on your roof. So this is the helipad kit. Same as well as the fence kit. But it is a bit bigger. And how this works is... Basically it gives you the option to be able to place down a... Helipad. I'm going to place this helipad right about there. And then it basically just puts a helipad so you have an indication where you want to land your helicopter. Okay, so I'm sorry dying of dehydration and I have no food or water on me. So I'm quickly going to show you how these locks work. They're very easy. They're like the modded code locks that you can get. But you have to be on the inside and you can add them as a code or as an attachment basically then you go to it and you enter the code and i'm just going to do uh one two three four is the code you hit push enter hit f to lock it's locked you go over to it you can enter the code then open it and then just like that you're opened again you can also put a code lock on these as well if i go to here slide it into an attachment go over this side code again so i'm going to do um two three four five and this one do it you can lock it and then you can enter your code and you can do two three four five enter it again and then that opens them all up and it's simple as that and that is the best way to secure your base up in the game and when you close one it does seem to be a bit fuzzy so hit the enter again and you can close both of them and job is done and just like that you have a base it's a very simple one obviously you would also probably need to add a bit more security here so people couldn't get on top of it as well you could add another room here with a door with a code lock as well if you wanted to and then you're totally secure but yeah it's pretty cool it's nice to see it's better i think it's a lot better than the vanilla base building and so i'm very very happy with it so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was somewhat helpful uh, if you have any questions at all, leave me know in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to help out as best as I can. And until then, I shall catch you guys in the next video. So, peace out for now.